Hi everyone, this is Hibba from My Little Journal and welcome to episode 4 of Scrap Your Scraps. In today's episode, we are going to scrap our Project Life cards or journaling cards. We all have piles and piles of these cards and we just don't know what to do with them. They don't always end up in our Project Life albums. But in today's episode, I'm going to share a really easy and fun way to use up those cards. And that is creating a mini album. I love mini albums. I feel mini albums are perfect to use up your cards, your embellishments. So that's what we're going to do today. I just went through my cards and chose what I thought would work well with my photos. I'm also using 4x6 pads because I have a lot of these 4x6 pads and I kind of look at them as 4x6 cards, not pads, honestly. Um, Especially that um, I'm subscribed to Studio Calco, so they don't send a lot of 4x6s. I end up using up a lot of my 4x6s, so I'm going to use my pads for this. I did have like an acetate pad from Studio Calico that I haven't used. Literally, I've never used this pad. So I decided to use it to create my own cover. And I'm just looking for a 4x6 card to back up that acetate sheet. I'm literally just going to be adding some thickers to add my title. And this this album is going to be all about March. So I'm just going to add March with some thickers and 2018. I do want to warn you that this video is pretty long. I had to do this mini album at two seatings, two different seatings, and then I combined the videos. So this video is a little bit too long for my taste, and I recommend you grab yourself a cup of coffee, sit back, and watch me create this mini album. I'm also not going all out. You guys know me. I'm a simple crafter. I don't feel like you have to do amazing and outrageous techniques to create a mini album. Uh, Just keep it simple. The whole goal is to use up those Project Life albums, uh, sorry, cards, and use up some of your embellishments. So that's what I'm totally doing. I'm not going all out. I'm really looking at each 4x6 as a little layout and I'm really keeping my layouts simple. I will be using 4x6 photos in my little mini album. I love the look of a full photo in something small, if that makes sense. Uh, Just like me using my 4x8 photos in my traveler's notebook. So even though this is a regular 4x6 photo, but it gives that illusion of you using a large photo in a small mini album. I'm going through my cards because I'm trying to create a little layout on the other side of my 4x6 photo. And by the way, I just backed up my 4x6 photo onto the backing of my cover. And I'm going through my cards. I end up using a black one that says, Nature always wears the colors of the spirit. And I'm going to, of course, go through my embellishments and add some flowers. And I will also be adding spring is here using some of my alpha stickers. As I said before, we aren't just using up our Project Life cards. We are also using our embellishments. We are going through all of our embellishments and using them up. So creating mini albums really, really help you use up a lot of your stash and a lot of your Project Life cards. I can't tell you how much I'm in love with these puffy alpha stickers. They are definitely my favorite right now. I did get them from Feature Craft, but they are made by Pink Fresh Studios. And I will add all the links for everything I'm using in this mini album down below. Um, but anyways, I'm going to use my Kelly Perky Spring Stamp Set. I will stamp out Grow and Bloom in this yellow label. 
and literally just stick it on my 4x6 photo. And then I call this little layout done. I will flip over my 4x6 card and start working on the next spread. I want to start working on the next spread and documenting these two photos of my kids and I having ice cream. Now I decided when I was printing out my photos that I'm gonna print them out in different sizes. I ended up with 4x6s, 3x4s, and 2x2s. And I like doing that because I feel like it gives more interest to my album. Uh, I don't like the same size photos throughout your my albums because I like to have like change it up a little bit I guess but anyways I also keep the process going uh, the same for each layout I choose my photos I choose my cards and at the end after I journal if I want to journal I'll add my embellishments and this keeps the process fast and easy so I definitely recommend to kind of do the same over and over again um, but right now I decide that I'm going to use this plain 4x6 card with the black and white graph and then I will use that 3x4 pink card to add my photo. I'm even going to use some of my feature craft uh, stamps to stamp out Let's Eat. I will also journal. Now when I journaled on this, I took it to my typewriter. Uh, it kind of ruined the top part of my 3x4 card. So I'm going to actually go through my embellishments and I find a little tab that says spring. And I will add that little tab just to cover up the little mess up that happened on my 3x4 card. I'm going to be using these really cute uh, word stickers from Felicity Jane. I end up using the Today, and I will also use some Freckled Fawn star stickers, puffy stickers. And I really like the simplicity of this 4x6 card, and I just, I'm loving the black and white with pink. Now you can see every 4x6 is a little mini layout. Um, I've been able to use my cards and my embellishments. And for this one, I need to back up these two cards or this photo and card. So I'm gonna use a four by six and that way I can use the nice pattern that's in the back for my next layout and also be able to stick these two cards and back it up. I'm gonna finish off this layout by adding a little stamp that says one more bite. This is a feature craft stamp. I'm gonna stamp it in a circle label and then I believe I'm just gonna add a little puffy heart to that and call this layout done. I will flip over my four by six card and then start working on my next spread. For my next two spreads, I have two photos um, telling two different stories. So one of them is my commute that I do every once in a while to Atlanta. And then the next one is a little photo of me relaxing and watching TV. So I'm going to treat them as two separate layouts. My first one will be um, this two by two photo that I decide to add a tag because I want to journal about this photo. And I will also be adding some twine to my tag and just sliding it behind my photo. And also halfway through, I decide I'm going to use my red tape and I decided to do this because I wanted to make sure that everything stuck well together and wasn't going anywhere, especially that this mini album is not inside an album. But I will change my mind later on because if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know I hate dealing with tape that I have to remove the backing of and all that good stuff. I'm just fast and I want this done. So I literally do it for a little bit and then I switch back to my regular tape. I will go through my embellishments just because I want to add some color to this card and I'm going to end up using this pink arrow that says loving this 
and I believe I add a little flower to go in with my tag. Moving on to my 4x6 photo, I'm going to try to keep it simple. And I found a chipboard that says we travel not to escape life, but life not to escape us. And then I'm going to use one of my FeedYourCraft flare buttons that says journey and add that right under my chipboard. For my next spread, I'm going to be documenting this 4x6 photo of my daughter's performance. Now I love watching her in concert and I don't think I've ever missed any of her concerts. It always amazes me how great they are and I love documenting it. So I'm going to keep this really simple. I'm literally going to use some of my chipboards. I think I used an everyday chipboard and a little silver heart and we'll add those to my photo. I still wanna add two three by four cards on the other side of my spread. I wanna journal about her performance. So I'm gonna go through my three by four cards and I find a little three by four card that has this girl with a bun and it just for some reason reminds me of my daughter so I think it worked really well. And I will also punch out this little I love this card in a circle. This is a great way to use up your cards, use them as embellishments, punch them out, trim them, cut out any illustrations, make them work for you and it's a great way to use up your cards. But anyways, I just went ahead and used that 3x4 card to journal about my daughter's performance and now I'm just going to be backing up these two 3x4 cards to a 4x6 card. I'm going to move on to my next two spreads and I will be using these two photos of my son on prom night. Oh my gosh, you guys, I had so many photos. It was really hard for me to choose, but I ended up with these two and hopefully I'll be able to document prom night in my project life and my traveler's notebook also because I have a lot, of say, a lot to say. But anyways, I also did journal about that night or that day and I decided to use for my next spread, this four by six photo. So I went ahead and backed up my card and photo to that four by six photo. Now that I'm done with this side of my spread, I'm just gonna use my Feature Craft stamp set to stamp out, I believe it said, this is one for the books, right on the side of my three by four photo. And I'm also gonna be going through my tags because I decided when I started the album that I wanna use up as many tags as I can and I was really proud of myself because I was able to use a lot of my tags. So I'm going to end up using this one and I will stamp on it using my Kelly Perky You Are My Universe stamp set. I'm going to stamp out Love You More Than All The Stars In The Sky with some pink but I really didn't like it so I'm going to end up grabbing my black ink and stamping over it and it worked out really well. I will also use a smaller stamp that said you are my sun, my moon, and all my stars in this little pink label. I'll add some twine and call this little side of my spread done. I'm going to go into my chipboard and add a little chipboard right under my journaling and I believe I add a chipboard banner to the 3x4 photo of my sun.
These next two photos are kind of of my routine, cooking and my coffee and little things like that. So this is really gonna be very simple. I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna go through my cards. I really like this. I've had too much todaying for today and I decide to back them up to a four by six card. And then I'm just gonna grab my feature craft. I believe again, that was the food for thought stamp set. And I'm gonna stamp enjoy and add a little puffy heart right above that. I'm going to work on this four by six photo of myself cooking and I will use my Feed Your Craft Workday stamp set to stamp out Daily Grind, I believe. And I'm just gonna add a little flare right above that. So you guys are gonna see a little sweater change right about now because I worked on this album in two different sittings and this is the next day. So I'm gonna start by journaling and documenting my favorite movies in the month of March. I watched two movies that I really, really loved. One of them is The Shape of Water and the second is Lady Bird. And I definitely recommend them. They are amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and trim out this heart that says movie night. Um, don't want to use the whole 3x4, I just really wanted that heart, so I'm going to add it to this 3x4 pocket. Now these 3x4 pockets came in one of my Studio Calico kits, I don't remember which kit, but they are so cute and I haven't been able to use them until now. I'm going to use this tag, I already journaled on this tag, I made a little review about the movies I watched. I will grab some twine, add it through my tag. I believe I add my date. And I will also be using my Studio Calico watching stamp set. I believe that's what it's called. And I'm gonna stamp, go where the Wi-Fi is strong, right on like in the corner of my tag. I will also be using a little yellow puffy heart to bring in the yellow to my tag. I'm going to be going through my 3x4 cards because I needed a card to go on the left side of my spread. I really like that lights camera action and it worked really well with my theme so I'm using it. I'm going to end up using my Feed Your Craft in Review stamp set to stamp out movie review right above my photo and I believe I find some word stickers and I just add rated 10 stars right under my photo. I'm gonna be using my Kelly Perky watching stamp set to add must see. I'll stamp it in the Kelly Perky label and add that right above my photo. I'll also be stamping the circle stamp that says Showtime. I really love this little stamp set. It's just perfect to document what you're watching, your movies, your shows, all that good stuff. I believe once I'm done stamping, I just call this side of my spread done. I just feel like I need to add a little something to that movie night heart that I have on my pocket. I will add, I think, a Tim Holtz phrase right on top of that heart and call my spreads done.
For my next spread, I'm documenting our love of food and my kids' love of cooking. They definitely enjoy creating their own pizzas and making some waffles in the morning, little things like that. So I have these three photos that I wanna add to these two spreads. I'm going through my three by four cards. I love the little card with the strawberry because this photo has um, waffles with strawberries and bananas and berries and all that good stuff. So I have two of the three by four cards with strawberries and I'm gonna end up using one of those to back up my photo. But for this three by four card that has breakfast, lunch, and dinner, I decide to use my feature craft um, bold alpha stamps to stamp out pizza in every box with some red ink and then I'm gonna use my little emoji stamps to stamp a heart, a thumbs up, and a smiley face. I really, really like how this little 3x4 card turned out. It was really simple um, but yet very effective and I'm just gonna go ahead and stick it down right next to my picture of our pizza. I really want to use both these 3x4 cards with the strawberries because they've been in my stash for a while and I know I probably will never use them. So I'm going to go ahead and trim one of them down and use it to back up my photo. I'll also grab some mini doilies. I got these mini doilies from Amazon and I am so in love. They are perfect for backing up small photos like this 2x2 photo. I'm just gonna stick it down and then I'm going to stick both my photo and three by four card on a four by six card. Now I use these four by six cards from Studio Calco. They actually come in your kit just to let you know what's in the kit. And I use them to back up these cards. Um, that way they're not just sitting in my stash and I'm actually using these papers and recycling them. But anyways, I'm gonna use my Kelly Perky, I believe um, in the kitchen stamp set. I think that's what it's called. I'll use one of those stamps that says, this calls for stretchy pants. I'm gonna make it in a little curve so it can sit uh, kind of a half a circle around my plate. I'm gonna stamp it in black ink. Now, it didn't stamp really well, but that really doesn't bother me. Sometimes my stamps do that to me, and that's okay, but I'm gonna go with it and move on. I will go through my embellishments. I wanna add some chipboards. I believe I add a little heart right in the center of this amazing little meal that my daughter created with some strawberries, Nutella, and some berries. And then I'm going to find some chipboards, word chipboards that say evening, morning, and afternoon, and things like that. So I'm just gonna add them right under my photos. next few photos are of how much rain we received in the month of March. Oh my gosh, it rained almost every day. So I have this 4x6 photo of how foggy it has been and how wet it has been. So I'm going to document that. I'm also documenting uh, this little 2x2 two two photo of me in the car because I feel like I spend half of my day in the car. It's just my daily routine and my daily commute. So I'm gonna document these using these two three by four cards. One says no rain, no flowers, and that's how I make myself happy about the rain and not always <laughs> sad because it rains so much. And then I'm just going to make this little spread cutesy. I'm gonna be adding some flowers, some of my black and white flowers. I'll also be stamping in one of my labels. 
I'll stamp Daily Commute. This is also a feature craft stamp set. And I believe I add some words or phrases um, just under my photo. I don't know why, but this was not my favorite spread. I just feel like um, I've gotten to the end of my mini album. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of get bored after a while. So it just came together that way. But I've said this so many times, it's not about um, making every single spread perfect and beautiful. Sometimes they turn out great and sometimes they don't. But at the end, I literally used almost 30 Project Life cards to create this little mini album. I was able to create a good dent in my stash and that makes me happy. And also I was able to use up a lot of my embellishments. So mini albums are definitely the way to go if you want to use up some of your embellishments. I have a Scrap Your Scraps class um, at Big Picture Classes. I'm going to add the link down below and I do share a layout on how you can use your Project Life cards in your layouts. But this definitely is my favorite because uh, you really do get to use up a lot of your embellishments and your Project Life cards. But anyways, once I am done working on this little spread right here, I'm going to go through my embellishments and I'm going to add a chipboard that says thankful and grateful right on top of my 4x6 photo and call this little spread done. I'm almost done with my mini album. I have two more photos to document and I'm going to be documenting a 4x6 photo of the beautiful flowers. As I said, you need the rain to get these gorgeous flowers from, you know, for spring. And I'm documenting my favorite Converse. I always document these Converse. They are definitely my favorite. So I have this 3x4 card with some red Converse that I want to use. I'm also using this other 3x4 card that says just another day. And I'm going to use my feature craft. I believe it's the out and about stamp set. And I'm going to stamp out out and about and add a flare button and some little embellishments on that card. I will also use my Kelly Perky Spring Stamp Set to stamp out springtime in the label and add that to my 4x6 photo of my flowers. I want to end my album with a little title, so I'm going to use this 4x6 card to add Hello Spring using some Studio Calco Alpha stickers. And I'm going to end up adding a little phrase right in the center and a flare button on top. But because I started with an acetate sheet, I thought I could end my album with an acetate sheet. So I'm going to go through that little pad of acetates and um, add an acetate sheet to finish off my little album. Grab some of my binding clips and put them through these little holes that I created using my crocodile and I call my little album done. As you can see, I have a beautiful little mini album 
very bulky, very cute. I got to use up a lot of my Project Life cards, a lot of my own embellishments, and got to just use up my stash, and that makes me really happy. I hope you guys try out this little mini album for yourself, and if you do, don't forget to tag me on Instagram with Scrap Your Scraps. I'd love to see what you create using your own Project Life cards. You don't just have to make a mini album. There's so many different ways that you can use your cards by punching them out, by using them as embellishments. You can even create a three by four little mini album if you like. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.